Hi, welcome to the Cafe Bean Counter Knits podcast, episode three. My name is Jessica, and I'm coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona, where it's a decent day. It's very sunny. As you can probably already tell, the window is, the blinds are open next to me. Um, places that you can find me are on Instagram at Cafe Bean Counter Knits and on Ravelry as Cafe Bean Knits. Um, I have some finished objects today. I don't I have th three. It's kind of crazy. I know I had a couple works in progress. One of them you didn't even see. It was um, things just kind of like flew off the needle. <laughs> flew off the needles. So my first finished op finished object is. These are Leading Men Fiber Arts in the colorway, or I'm sorry, the base showstopper in the colorway Drag Queen. Here they are. Look how pretty these are. These are so pretty. These are actually, I made these in, with the intent of give, making them for myself, but um, my friend Rebecca um, really like these so I'm gonna gift these to her so as soon as I'm done podcasting these are gonna go in the bath and they're gonna be on the drying mat and I'm gonna be able, maybe gift them to her next week um, or the week after depending on when she's in the office these just a vanilla sock um, with a shadow wrap heel knit uh, 64 stitches 2.25 millimeter so yeah these are so pretty I think last week I had one finished and one started, and I just like kind of monogamously knitted on just this sock um, to try to get these done. So these are done. Yay, finished object number one. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys what I'm drinking. So, today's a little bit different. Uh, a little bit tired <laughs> today. <laughs> I'm drinking Jackrabbit Jack Rabbit Java. I'm having a latte with almond milk. It's so good. I love supporting small businesses, especially yarn dyers, bag makers, stitch markers, and coffee. I almost prefer coffee from a local place rather than um, like Starbucks or Dunkin'. I was a huge Dunkin' girl back in the day. I had... I don't know, over 100 visits in one year. <laughs> Please don't judge me on that, but it's the truth. But I, I love supporting small businesses, and these two have really knocked it out of the park. Um, each week they have a different drink of the week, and I don't partake in it. My husband does, but yep, Jackrabbit Java. If you're ever in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, and you are driving on the 10 to California, stop off at Jackrabbit Java and get yourself some coffee. You won't be disappointed. Okay, I'm not a paid sponsor, by the way. I just love their coffee. <laughs> Next finished object that we have is my Breaking Yarn Christmas Socks. This is Breaking Yarn in the Doghouse Sock DK. 75-25. I knit these on US 3. And, you know, I just did a small cuff. I, I had, um, I knitted the freckled whimsy with a small cuff like this, and I really liked where they kind of fit on my ankle and on my leg, and it, it's a good fit. So I like this amount, for especially for DK. I did a shadow wrap heel and rounded toe. I did 48 stitches. So these went by really fast. I did these, just so you guys know, in four days four days. That is so crazy. I can't believe I knit these in four days. And I work full time. So I was literally like, any free moment I had, I was picking these up and knitting on them. And then the next finished object I had, I think I was working on the brim the last time that I podcast. And now it's completely done. Look at this. So this is 
Malabrigo Rios in the colorway English Rose. Excuse me. So this is the February hat. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Um, by Kate Gangan Gan Gag. Gag none. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Osborne. This is the year of hats. This is the February hat. This is a really cool, this is a free pattern so I can talk about it. So this, I provisionally cast on and then I did a folded brim. And look how seamless that brim is. I mean, you can't, it's, it's so, I did a good job. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I've done a lot of folded brims before, but never with a provisional cast on. And this is a unique stitch pattern. So you start off with a stitch pattern. Basically it's knit knit one, purl one, and then the next row you purl one, knit one, and then repeating that. And then here it was like some slip stitches. You can see um you can see some like slip stitch some slip stitches in here and then knits. This one was interesting. Um this was like knit one slip one, I think. Yeah, like a knit one slip one here. Um, and, you know, it repeats up here. Like the pattern repeats up here. And it even repeated in the, it was interesting, like purling two together when I was doing the crown decreases. But yeah, this is the February hat, Malabrigo Rios. This is from my friend Nikki. She says she loves it. So I can't wait to get this in the bath as well today and get this out to her hopefully next week so she'll have it because from what I hear back home in Indiana and Michigan it's very cold so those are all my finished objects that I have for today so works in progress I have two to show um, obviously since I finished so many things I don't have too many works in progress so the first one is being housed in my Thanksgiving bag from Happy Little Yarn. So cute. I absolutely love this from Amy. This is the Whidbey bag. So I put in a few more rows, but I have to... I figured out what my wrist pain was from last week. It either was like I had some inflation, uh, inf inf inflammation or it was like just like some cotton yarn issues. So I've just been slow, slow and steady, and it'll be fine. So I'm gonna knit, 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 I think it's like 30, I don't remember how many inches, all the way down, and then the really cool thing about this bag is you take your scraps and you weave them through here after you're done. I'm gonna put a picture right here, and you're gonna be able to see what the finished bag looks like. It's super cool. I can't wait to finish this project, but it's going to be slow and steady. I'm going to try to do, like I said before, a couple rolls a day. I had some needle issues. I had to switch needles. I ordered some, but um, these are currently on some uh, Knitter's Pride wooden needles um, right now. Um, I was, for the hat, I needed to get, um, I did a US 4 for this and a 6 for this, and I needed 16 inch circulars. So. I had to steal the fours from here to use from there, and then I, I don't know how long this cord is. I'm gonna say 24 inches, cause it's, it's, it was too big for the hat. I was like spending a lot of time moving stitches around. So yeah, this is uh, the would be bag. The yarn I showed last week is Radiant Cotton by Fibra Natura. It's Egyptian cotton and it's in the steel gray colorway so yeah that's whip number one whip number two is in another happy little yarn bag because like I said before excuse me I'm sorry I'm a little um, snippy today I felt kinda under, under the weather for the past few days but I feel a lot better today I think it's just allergies and um, being outside, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Another bag by Happy Little Yarn. Isn't this so cute? 
I saw this online and I was like, I have to get this. This is so gorgeous. I love the ornaments. I love how classic it looks. It just is, it's just classy, just very classy. So in here I have, can you hit guess? Christmas socks. Um, so I'm starting my second pair of Christmas socks. And this is mustache yarn in the Bumbles Bounce 7525 Perfect Match. There you go. And take a peek at that. Oh, that's so good. So it comes in two separate um, two separate cakes, so I was able to start them at the same place. And I cast these on last night after I finished my hat. Look at that cute gingerbread progress keeper. So I've got 20 rows of the cuff done so far. I'm about to start the leg. I think I might do like every time the color changes, like slip a stitch. I'm going to try to look that up and see about implementing that because I think that would be look really cool with this yarn. And then the second cuff I just started. So it's only barely, but look at that little, look at that little star. So cute. So yeah, I'm going to work on these. I don't know if they'll be a finished object um, anytime soon, but I'm going to continue to work on them. Alright, that's all of my works in progress that I've been actively, work actively working on. I still have the cardigan, which is on the needles, which I haven't picked up. Just haven't really felt motivated to knit on that right now, but... Maybe after all the advent knitting and Christmas is over, maybe I'll pick that back up and try to get that out. Okay, acquisitions. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, the first acquisition I got was from Mary of Ginger Snap Fibers. I ordered some yarn cozies. I know I can knit these, but I would rather be knitting something else. So I decided to pick these up. Look how cute these are. Oh, these are so cute. And see, this is like wintry, so I can use this until like March. You know, I, I it's it's not Christmassy. It's more wintry, so I can definitely keep using these. Now these are Christmassy, and actually I'm gonna put them in my my other bag with my mustache yarn and use those for little cozies for my yarns since I have split it into two. These are little Christmas presents. So pretty. And I'm probably going to use these for my advent socks as well. And then she was so sweet and threw this in for free for me. And it has cactuses. How fitting for Arizona. It's so beautiful. It's got little pink it's got little uh, pink polka dots on the inside and snaps I love the snaps and a little handle so you can walk around and knit with it so thank you Mary so much but it's absolutely I love this these are these are great very nice very well made Next, I decided to give myself a little gift and I bought some signature needles to use on my cozy memories. Kind of jumping on that bandwagon with everybody else. And when I was ordering, I did not realize I ordered 10 inches. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I should have ordered like seven and it would have been like down here or something like that, but that's okay. Um. You know, at least if I have a bigger project, I got big needles. You know, just like last week, I got big cups and I can't cannot lie. I got big big needles and I cannot lie. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I haven't worked on the cozy memories, but plan on maybe getting a square or two in today. So yeah, I got needles now. No more struggling with, um, like Magic Loop or sixteen inch circular. It's really dry here in Arizona. I think my thermostat says it's like 
29% humidity, which is really dry. I swear when I'm walking around in my uh, knitted socks, I shock myself on the wall, so I have to like pre-shock so I don't get shocked from the light switch coming around the corner. I know it's kind of funny, but... So I got the Felici set that came in. I got all eight colors, so I'll quickly show these. This is Poseidon. Super pretty. This one is Lakeside Gelato. That one's so pretty. I love that. Next we have Fruit Punch. Those are pops of color right there. It's got that pink. Afternoon Arcade. We've got olive juice. Love the green and the red. Like a it's like a burgundy. Let's see. Next we have Night Market. Good guy. These ones are so pretty. These ones are called Yipes Stripes. Remind me of like a flower with the green and the yellow and like the pink or like a, not pink, it's like a purple burgundy color. It's so pretty. So that's all the Felici that I have. Yep. I decided to get them all. I have a bunch. I have this whole bin here is Felici and I have another bin that's Felici. Got to get casting on some Felici. Maybe after Christmas I'll start knocking these out. I save I uh, save the Felici as good gift knitting yarn, which I like, and it's so so soft. All right, the last acquisition that I have is I was able to snag a skein of yarn from Earth Tones Girl. This is ninety percent tar heat, ten percent nylon. 411 yards, 100 grams, and it's um, dyed by Woolens and Nosh. I've never had Tarhi, and I've never had new uh, Woolens and Nosh, and I was like, I, I want to try this. The colorway is called Fall in Love, and it's so pretty. I don't care that it's fall. I love fall all the time, so I'll probably end up casting these on at some point. So that's all that. Oh, wait, I have one more. One more big one. So, back in, I think, June, actually I have two more acquisitions. Back in June, I ordered the Moongo Yarn Company Advent Calendar, and my family teases me. My brother and my husband were here, and they're like, you're really not going to open that yarn for six months? I'm like, no, I haven't. It's all in here. It's all packaged up in the, like, the numbering it's all still packaged up in here. Not, and I can open it. It's going to be part of Advent and Advent knitting. And I don't. I think I might do. I might do either the Habitation throw, the wallop call, or there's a couple of shawls that I saw that caught my eye that I thought maybe I could use my minis for that. Last acquisition isn't really any yarn or anything. I picked this up on Amazon. It's this giant. It's like bigger than me. This giant, giant tote for me to store all my minis. This thing is huge. This thing could store, like, all my, all my yarn. <laughs> it's so big. But, yeah. Um, I picked that up off of Amazon, and it came, and you can basically stuff it full of stuff so it kind of regains it, all of its um, shape. So... That's all. I haven't been reading anything. I've been watching um, Big Bang Theory on HBO Plus or HBO Max. Um, this last Friday, I went and volunteered at the food bank, and I was really sore. And I think being outside really stirred up all of my allergies and 
had me a little sniffly, but I'm I'm feeling better. I'm going to try to do Vlogmas. Like I said, I have a full-time job, so some of those days are going to be boring and it's just me going to work or me working. Um, and I'll probably show my stripes that I've done. I'm going to open up my advent calendar. So I'm going to take a try at it and hopefully it'll work. But I think that's all that I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.